Not really, you know, I, I have uh, faith in my game and confidence in what I can do, but at the same time, it's, it's a big jump from the college level, so um, just trying to take it day by day and just uh, see where I fit in here. What's the what's the biggest jump? What's the biggest adjustment you have to make? Um, definitely speed-wise, you know, guys are bigger, faster, stronger, and I mean, even the even the biggest guys in the league, like Brent Burns, the guy can, the guy can fly, so um, that's probably be the biggest thing from college, and um, it's something I'm still getting used to. What are, what are some of the guys, or who are some of the guys that are kind of taking you under their wing and kind of helping you along? Yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, Banks has been a big guy for me, just sort of helped me on the ice, just where to be, and, and little plays and little things like that that can help me out, and I mean, he's a really smart player who, who plays the game well, so that's a good guy I can learn from, and I mean, everyone, everyone in the room has been really helpful, just little things on and off the ice, just to sort to adjust to life as a pro. What's their biggest uh, advice to you uh, to help you kind of along? Um, just, you know, enjoy it and don't don't be too uptight about it. You know, stay loose and, um, you know, if you have a bad game, don't don't worry too much about it and just um, go on to the next one. What are you embracing the opportunity that you have here? Yeah, I mean, I think that's, um, you know, so far I love it here and, and it's awesome to be a part of and just uh, try to take, take it day by day and um, just get better every time and sort of prove to the coach I can play at this level. Sometimes do you kind of close your eyes and go, you can't really believe what's going on? Is that yeah, still? for sure. I mean, I think when you line up beside Brent Burns, you're going to forecheck him and, you know, Terry Sanko and the Blues and things like that. It's sort of just like a, a little bit of a wow moment, but um, then you sort of settle in and then it's just another game. How is the, the comfort level with each game? How is that improving for you? Yeah, I think just, you know, a little maybe being able to make plays, confidence with the puck, and, and not just chipping it in and chipping it out, you know. Um, not being afraid to make mistakes is, is a big thing for me, just being able to, to find space for myself and, and create chances for my line mates. I think, um, you know, I felt a little off in the Vegas game. That was a tougher game for me, just like how big and fast they are. But, um, yeah, I think just each game getting a little bit more comfortable to, to make plays and play my game. Line from another college at Michigan State. What has it been like trying to build chemistry with new people? Yeah, I, mean, I think so far it's been it's been pretty easy. You know, everyone I've played with are, are great players, and um, they're always in the right areas to score, and, and they're really just talking to me, helping me out with plays and things like that. So, um, in that sense, it's been really easy. Just you know, guys are guys at this level can make plays any anywhere on the ice, and um, make it really easy for me. Chair, was there a point where it kind of settled down a little bit this last week? That it was like, all right. I'm here now, and like a, you did get you know, more comfortable or something like that. Yeah, I mean, I think the off day in San Jose was nice, sort of just to relax in the hotel and then sort of walk around outside in nice weather and just sort of, um, you know, relax and take it all in and sort of see where I'm at and, and how I'm playing and things like that. So that was definitely a big day for me, and then sort of playing well in San Jose was good for me too. Now, was your dad on most of the trip? Or they were talking about it on the TV. Uh, yeah, he was in New York and Vegas. New York and Vegas. Those two games, yeah. How much is